Most people in America are familiar with what their rights are and aren't with regard to another human being. When we create a part of our life balance family of choice, we have the right to decide who can and cannot touch our life. And what I mean by that I have to be careful of because I have a friendship that I'm trying to restore after the individual literally attacked my life out of illness and lies. I'm trying to make sure that she is saved by the Lord's house and rebuked for her inappropriate, immature behavior. But at the same time, I recognize that there was a dereliction of duty by people along the way that allowed her to believe that she had the right to obliterate a man's name with her lies. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth. And the truth is that when it comes to the physical touch of another human being, at no time do you or anyone else have the right to physically assault, sexually assault, be perverse in any way with your concept of what someone should and shouldn't do with their hair, with their beard, with their clothing in any way. This is America. And this being America, you damn well know what your rights are as a man in this world. And you damn well know what your rights are as a woman in this world. And if you're a black mama, you better fucking know what your rights are and how many whites fought alongside of your community to give you freedoms that you have today. And I say that out of an anger over this entitlement thinking of young blacks in every way. That they have the right to tell us off and call us bitch and do all the shit that I've endured on a campus that's supposed to all be about diversity. But you know what? It's not always the kids who are the college students that do this. It's the townies and the white hicks and the impoverished-minded thinking people that do this today. In America, we had all kinds of colors and all kinds of races that fought for the freedoms that we all now embrace and are given to us by God's graces. We are very fortunate that we don't live in Russia. We are very fortunate that we don't live in China. We are very fortunate that we don't live in whichever corrupt fucking Korea it is that's got major problems. We are very fortunate that we do not live in Africa. And I mean absolutely no disparagement to those societies, but they have challenges to them that are based on the poorness and the notoriety of their politicians of the day. The dictatorships. We're lucky that we don't live completely in a war-torn country, but we do have civil war going on all the time. All the time. And it just isn't noted as much in the news because people don't want to see it, acknowledge it, or believe it that after all the blood shed, all the tears that have been bled, and all of the purity of heart that have been destroyed by hatred in America that we have those issues today.